Hey there everyone, no DMAA here coming at you with a Blue Imperial Jamon deck profile. So I, went, I got 5th place with this uh, deck build for my locals um, this past weekend. And we're doing a thing where the, every top 4 gets to enter the store championship that my locals is going to hold on September 26th. It's because there's only 16 slots for that. So like, we don't like, that makes sense. So one of the top 4 for the last weekend was uh, Priest of Eugene. So he already topped before, so I was next in line to enter the tournament. So I got in on, I got in on a technicality, but ultimately this deck works. I got fifth place. It rocks. I got in the store championship on technicality. Let's talk about it. All right. So the babies for this build: um, Demi Vimon and one Upamon. Uh, draw you cards. You run for this because you, when you swing with jamming, you draw a card, so it's way more consistent. I feel like that's self-explanatory at this point for this deck. Just zoom through with the uh, four Vmon, four jamming, three Alakmon, and then three of the Sukiomon, and then I took out the Gabumon, draw one. I realized like this card will get you drawing faster, and play the Gabumon's kind of too slow. I'd rather have two drops. Then two of the Gomamon. So this. Um, build also allows you just to default to rookie rush at times, and it's pretty funny that I just end up just rookie rushing sometimes. I'm like, rush! So I like my rookies the way they are now. The Gabumon was kind of too slow, but the, and then the new Inheritable Vimon that lets you stand up, let you draw a card when you unsuspend is really helpful. Champions. Four Gorillamon. Four of the Blocker. Then three Lobomon. I cut down all Lobomon because I need to make room for other stuff I had in this deck. So I was like, this is the only change I made from the champion lineup. Just cut Lobomon. I had to make room for other stuff. But blocker's good. Gorillamon, just so you can swing over stuff. I was thinking about running the fish. Uh, Tobiumon or whatever its name is. But I realized I needed, I wanted to, like something that was strong. Four Dino B and then four Pyodramon. This is the lineup you need for Blue Imperial Dramon. This doesn't change at all, really. You need a 4 4. So Pyodramon's the super good inheritable. They both have jamming. Uh, Dino B has piercing. And then his inheritable is like an, when an Imperial Dramon in its name swings, you can unsuspend it. Like, it's good. That's self explanatory, too, at this point. Four of the Blue Imperial Dramon. Uh, reduce the cost by two when did you evolve on top of Pyodramon or Dino B jamming and then when you did you evolve into it unsuspend all Digimon jamming so this card is just a, a powerhouse Blue and Pyodramon is so strong in this format still like who would I play it against round one I lost to Priest of Eugene because um, red was really strong it aggroed me quick so fast and he Omnimon X, X antibodied my uh, Imperial Dramon and anything I would play out he ran that and I was like, Priest of Eugene. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, um and then round two I played against Um Diaboramon. It's like man, Diaboramon almost killed me. Good thing I Nihog, I Nihogged him. <laughs> I use Nihog a lot in that, in those games. I would Nihog um Hexablau, because I played Hexablau too. I Nihogged um Nihogged uh the red the priest of Eugene's uh, ancient Greymon. He almost killed me, but then I saved myself for like three turns with this combo. Because you can digivolve on top of the nine out B, then digiburst, and then um, just send everything back. That's rested. Like it's good. Nihog is a game changer for this deck. Like it needed it needed something like that. Two Omimon Blitz. He's the win con. Um, when you digivolve on into him, unsuspend and blitz. And then if he would be destroyed by an opponent's effect or bounced, you can uh, trash a level 6 to save it. So he's pretty clutch. This is the card you all need to run if you run Nihog. You need to run one Volter's Arm. He's come up. Um, my Gilbutt said, like, hear him out, and I did. Then I played it for the locals, and it came up in almost every game I played. I was popping, like, so many bodies with it. 
um, dang, yeah, I was like playing against uh, Priest of Eugene's Ancient Greymon, I played against D Brigade, I played against uh, Hexablau. Man, there are so many strong contenders out there. Diabormon. <laughs> I was like, this is crazy. I was just like, pop, ping, pop, ping, pop. <laughs> this thing came up. It's useful. Boulders are Blue Imperial Dramon. You don't see it coming. Two Davis. Uh, memory Setter. Um, then on play, you can uh, find a blue and green Digimon. So, very useful. I run one Mimi. So I run three tamers total still for memory setter because I took a Davis out and put in a Mimi because I was like I saw Digipan to do it and I was like oh that's lit and she lets you play uh I run two needle sprays too so she allows you so like if I have her out it guarantees me the needle spray and then if you have Nihog or Dino Beat out you can actually use the effect to tap and actually bring somebody out or uh, hatch into something new. I misplayed a few times because I forgot to do that, and I was like, "Man, that's the whole point. That's the whole reason she's in the deck. I'm just too used to Davis. That's why I, I have to get used to like the circumstantial. Like, oh, there's a Dino B in the battle area or a Knee Hog. I can tap her to hatch or bring something out, like for another a swing because it's busted. Because when you bring it out from the raising area, you can swing right away with it. It's dumb. <laughs> then three Hammer Spark and two Needle Spray. I took out a Hammer Spark because I was not having a problem with it at three. This wasn't my security in every game. It was the reason I beat uh, Diabormon because he was playing the promo Diabormon, so he was swinging hard at my security. Then he took the last card, and then he was about to rush me with the tokens, but then uh, the last card was Hammer Spark, and he had one memory. So I trained my turn, and he had no security left, no blockers. I, I won. I won purely because this wasn't my security. <laughs> so three is fine. Needle Spray, I like. I, I like it better because you can add it to your hand. But Flower Cannon is kind of being considered just because being able to stop multi-swings like that by resting everybody except blockers could come in handy. I don't know, this this versus Flower Cannon is always like, I don't know which one's better. Objective. I think Needle Spray is better. But, I don't know. But thanks for watching my deck profile on Blue Imperial Jamon again. I'm really loving this build right now um one of my friends wants to borrow from the next locals just because he was interested in it and i was like okay sure because i already uh qualified for the store championship on september 26 so i'm gonna have a bit of fun for the next two locals before i get serious for the store championship i'm thinking of just going with bloom pyrogemon because he's just been my main for this format lately i don't know i don't know what i'm telling y'all but that's just how I'm thinking because I really do love this deck. It's because Vmon is my favorite Digimon too. So it's like, it's really helpful. It's also my 7th month anniversary video and I'm talking about my favorite Digimon. So, pretty cool. It's been a long 7 months and I finally figured out what my main deck is. It's going to be Blue Imperial Digimon. I love this deck so much. Because I love being able to just multi-swing and jam for anything and... Just be able to Omimon for wins, it's good. Like, Blue Imperial Jumon is still a very solid deck. It can beat the high tier decks, clearly, because it topped in one of those regionals, Dan, Dan Vang, like, he topped with it. Like, he beat over 300 people, or whatever. And even Lord Nightmons and stuff, he was undefeated. I was like, no excuses. Blue Imperial Jumon is so good. There's no stopping this deck. It's going to get slightly stronger, and then eventually when we hit set 8, it's going to be on fire. Like, this dude is not going anywhere. Fighter mode's coming. Get your Blue Imperial Jumon, Blue Imperial Jumon decks ready. <sighs> but yeah, that's all I got for you. Thank you all so much for uh, staying tuned to my channel, subscribing, and just having great conversations with me. It's been pretty great. Um, uh, we're reaching towards 1,100 subs, so I'll have something announce sometime soon about that and announcing the next giveaway so stay tuned and i'll see you all next time